So nobody's here with me. <clears throat> I have no idea where they are. Dennis is running a little bit late because he has Italian class. Uh, Xavier, I have no idea where he is. I haven't spoken to him. And uh, Johnny, you know, is MIA. So, yeah, whatever. We can talk about anything you guys want to. I'm going to start the show because why not? Um, I do want to let you know that I went for a facial today. And I got something called a hydrofacial, which was amazing. Uh, I'm going to highly, highly recommend it. My lighting is weird. Hold on a second. Yellow looks very pale. Okay, that's better. Okay, and um, yeah, so I did that, and then I went to Pilates, which is like my new big thing. And yeah, all is good. All is good in the world of uh, of Mo. Uh, I know I'm like radiant. Like my skin is glowing. It's kind of crazy. And um, she said I had I had good skin, and I haven't had a facial since like before COVID. So it's been, it's been a minute. Um, okay. So I guess we're just going to start the show because I have no idea when anybody's coming in or what's going to be going on. Yeah. I'm, Ida, I'm really into Pilates lately and Qigong. Those are my two big things. I'm trying to um, do things that make me happy and kind of give me like good centering of myself or whatever. And yeah, those things do it for me. So it's all good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all right, I'm not going to read the comments because there's really weird, mean people in there. I don't even know what's going on. So let's talk about today's show. Oh, look who decided to join us. Hi. Shut your hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not available all day. Uh <laughs> I killed myself trying to get here. Anyway. Hi, I was hi, just everybody. telling them that I went for a facial today, which um, was really good. Yeah, yeah. And then I went for Pilates after that with my girlfriend. Oh, and nice. Hey, yeah. 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 And... Not me. I'm miserable. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't speak to you all day. It's like weird. Um but yeah, and I didn't even it's talk to you about no, 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 no. I'm just I didn't even talk to you about what happened in the show today. I didn't, uh, I didn't tell you about my Pilates class. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um. I'm kidding. Why would you give a rat's ass about my freaking Pilates class? But I did receive a special thing in the mail today, as you know. I saw. Mm hmm. Which I'm very much looking forward to. Um, my little dear listener friends there, I, uh, I bought myself something which is amazing. I'm not even going to like really share it with you, but you should know that, um, I'm save getting, your little, save your money, save your money. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm getting, I am very into astrophotography, which to be fair, it's because of Xavier that I, I actually even started on down no that way, way started down that path and started taking a lot of pictures of, you know, the Milky Way and the moon and all that stuff. And if you've ever followed me on Instagram, you know that I post those on there. That's pretty much the only place I post that shit because they're all shit as far as I'm concerned. But now I'm going into deep space and um, it's something yeah, this, that this Xavier already no owned. He already Jeez. owned it. Hopefully he'll be able to shove me in the right direction just as far as being able to take pictures of uh Start nebula, with Start with the Ryan nebula. Uh, well we'll see we'll see what's good in the sky for me and i haven't that's even the, that's, that's, that's the good that's the where you should start it's it's the moral bang for the buck indeed well we'll see the horse head nebula i think would be interesting as well yeah but i mean the, um, the thing the horse head nebula mm -hmm. and all these other nebula except for andromeda aren't really visible to the human eye. You can see those in the sky and there you get that instant bang for your buck and that you can actually see, you know, like, yeah, Uranus, exactly, dude. Um, <laughs> and, and it's, and it's, the Orion's, Orion's is really, really pretty. I mean, it's, you got all kinds of things going on in there as far as the spectrum. Yeah, so unlike Howard, who probably has to get a coach to teach him how to do these things, um, you know, I, I just uh, read a lot of stuff on YouTube 
and um and we'll see we'll see how it goes That's so hopefully great. no we live in a great era where you can actually become very proficient at a new hobby within a short amount of time yeah well it's gonna be interesting i'm I'm excited to do it and i'm waiting for a really good clear night it was 60 degrees was the high here so i guess where howard is down in in um, palm beach it was much much hotter because he kept talking about it ad nauseum uh, but it looks like it's going to be clear tomorrow and Thursday. So, yeah, I might pull it out and play with it. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So but I'm going to start- just do some, you know, look at some uh, spots on the sun and stuff. I mean, it's, 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 it's instant gratification no matter what time you're out with that thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a, uh, Ida, it's a specific piece of equipment that is meant for. Uh, it's called deep- the C-Star S50. C Star S50, and it's made for um, deep space photography. Yes. Uh, then you have to take yes. that photography and stack it, layer it, and then process it. And so it's a whole. Yes, yes. You know, the, the taking of the pictures is just the initial thing of it, um, but actually being able to uh, put it into something that looks kind of spectacular is, is what takes the most time. Yeah, so it, it, it doesn't have the focal length to do like planetary stuff. No, it's really not. You can stack. You can. I mean, it just it's very proficient. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it. Uh, we'll see how it works out. I'm excited to do it, and uh, hopefully, your learning process, your learning curve, is done. And so uh, here, I'm honestly, show you the- with uh, astrophotography, the le- the learning curve is what makes it fun. Once you, once you become proficient at whatever you're doing, it gets boring and you want to go to the next, spend more money to get to the next hardware. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Here's the first picture I ever did. This was my first try ever, ever, ever with um, shooting the Milky Way. And that was like directly outside of my my house in Pennsylvania. And um, and yeah, that was with my Rokinon lens on my Canon. Uh, Autobot and Mike White. Actually, that's f- for the price. You get a really amazing piece of hardware. I mean, yeah. I have a, a C800 um, Celestron, and I spent thousands, thousands to get, you know, like where I wanted to be with that thing. And yeah, now with the C-Star, it makes it so much easier. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I love taking photos. I love taking pictures of the moon. I love taking any pictures of like the sky or anything. Here's another one. Here's another one I took uh, last summer. I just love taking photos like this. And yeah, awesome uh, picture. I know. And I never, I've never actually posted it. I just happen to see it in my photo stuff that I'm looking through as I'm talking to you guys. But you know, you know the way it works. You take 9,000 pictures and, you know, there's only like one or two that you actually love. And, and Cooper, you- yes, I am. What? What was the question? You want to know if I'm eating tacos? Oh, are you eating? I can't believe you're eating. I get shit for that all dude, the time. Dude, 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 you know me, my reality. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, so I'm going to start the show. Uh, we didn't talk today, so you don't know what happened on the show, so you're not really missing anything, to be quite honest with you. I think the only thing that came out of today's show is the fact that they finally revealed that JD has gotten divorced. That, oh, um, they finally did? Yes, that Howard likes to follow tranny people on social media and uh benji's a bit of a stalker and uh yeah that's how it went so let's start the show yeah sorry sorry we spent nine minutes and 44 seconds talking about ourselves i'm so sorry about that but that's (laughs) yeah no sense of irony that i'm in photography meanwhile i've been doing it you know for years now so and never mentioned it to you assholes so you know that trotter guy is really just annoying me so okay let's go to the first thing that happened as we got into after the american nightmare and again it's you know it's kind of weird so he's been doing a lot of like of these really weird hidden ads and now he's onto this halo thing so but even he's though he's done that remember, remember the whole you porn thing I mean, yes, of how course. he pretended that that was his thing. It was just yes. like one endless commercial for like at least a year. Yes, yes, but this is really a little bit. Um, this is a little bit more 
obvious, I think, because, you know, he's very into the stupid Paramount Plus thing and Halo and all this, but this is what he starts to you, show with. You know what oh. it is, Mo? What it is is he used to talk about a bunch of stuff. Now he has nothing to say. So when all of a sudden he goes, oh, by the way, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's interesting. Then, you know, it's like it's a dead giveaway. It's a commercial. Yeah. Oh, I would kill Hooper. I would kill to see the Northern Lights. I, I went to uh, I went to Iceland once about seven years ago, and I was dying to see the Northern Lights. I thought I was going at the right time and the right uh, moment in time. But, you know, it's never guaranteed. They take you out on these little tours. Yeah. But they tell you, you know, we might see them. We might not see them. It's just one of those things. I would absolutely love to see that. That's kind of on my bucket list of stuff. Um, all right, so let's move on. So here's the here's how we started the show. I'm so curious. I uh, listen. I, I make a good living. I do pay for these apps so I can have access to all of the shows. I'm on Disney Plus. I'm on Paramount Plus. I'm on Netflix. And I'm saying this because I know that there's got to be somebody at Paramount who's listening to this show and can fix this fucking app. I'm paying a lot of money, and the only thing I watch <laughs> on Paramount Plus is Halo. So, yeah, that's how he starts. Paramount Plus is eleven ninety nine a month. I so don't he's complaining about apps all of a sudden? Yeah. When he had, his company literally had the, the worst rollout of a worst of a update, update app in, in history? Yes, yes. That's I mean, exactly it made right. Coke Zero seem like a, you know, like a good yes. idea. Yes, horrible, horrible. So basically what Paramount Plus is, is it plays all the stuff from like CBS and then it has a lot of those shows by that dude who does all those Westerns and shit like that. You know, um, I don't even know what they're called, like Yellowstone and all that stuff. So they're very big into that. And yeah, there's way too many streaming options right now. And you know, it's going to come a time where they all have to really consolidate, and then it'll be just uh, like that time is now. Well, it'll just be it'll wind up being it like, really is. and they're... all of a sudden you're paying way too much money for shit that you don't really care about. That's... Go it's, it's sad that the golden age of streaming is already over. It's over. <laughs> it's already over. That's it. What a couple of years. Yeah, that's that's very true. Yeah, and yeah. I I realize why are you blocked, Nicholas? You're right here. Everybody uh, sees you. I don't know. Are you blocked from our website? I time don't know. To, what you... Time to update from Netscape, bro. Yeah. If you're having an issue on the website, write to me at, at uh, radiogunkatemail.com yeah. if there's an issue. I haven't issue. blocked anybody in a long time. Long time. I know. Yeah. Well, a minute. Yeah. I mean, not on YouTube, but, you know, on our real on our real site. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah. Well. Um, all right. Remember so when let's... Netflix first started streaming, they had like Star Wars. They had everything on there. And then. Everybody oh pulled their content so they can be all greedy. The weird thing is that Netflix now, I don't know if you have Netflix anymore, but Netflix now is um, is a lot of like their foreign shows, like things from Spain or from France or whatever. And, and that seems to be the thing that's like driving a lot of the plays on there. I'm not even really sure. I haven't really been digging into Netflix that much lately. It's not I really. I haven't had Netflix in over a year at this point. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, you of course get everything for free. Um, okay, no, you're not blocked from the chat, Justin. You're right there. No, you uh, are. We're all ghosts. Well, are you trying? Am I doing something? Are you clicking at the same time I am? I'm not doing anything. No, you're not blocked from the chat, silly Billy. All right, let, let's listen to Howard talk about his um, his night. I. It, Somebody said it in the chat too today. It was really kind of ridiculous, but listen to this and, and hang on. My job work. <laughs> and I, I, I'm amazed. I get into bed and I'm like, okay, Beth will probably be here in 15. I'm in bed. It's 7 PM. 7 PM. Okay. He's in bed at 7. P He's already asleep right now. It's 830. He's already well into like, sleepy time at this point which to me is insanity insanity nobody willingly wakes up at four o'clock in the morning nobody goes to bed at seven o'clock so here's when beth comes in hang on beth gets into bed by 7 15 sometimes 7 20 and we it's so a Beth's small window seven okay yeah I, it's I, gone I, to seven shocked me shocked i keep me. i keep getting blood tests from the doctor to find out what's wrong with me that i can barely stay awake 
What do you think's going on with him that he keeps getting he's 70? No, okay, but you know, 70 year olds can sleep like he's normal. 70, people. that's what's wrong with him. Why is he getting blood test to find out why he's a hypochondriac and he needs attention at all times is tired all the time uh let me finish the clip and they say i'm fine but uh i'm telling you i'm i'm barely alive think about how it would be to be a 50 year old woman you know basically in the mid waning prime of your life and you're with a man who gets into bed at seven o'clock and fully expects you to be in bed with him in within the next like half hour. Like, yeah, but you know what? Here's the thing. He's a plain, he's a paying customer. So the customer's always right. Sorry. Yeah. yeah what else? Is, what is she going to do? Go out and make a living on her own? You know, you know, no, those, those, no, uh, no, those $1,600 fanny packs don't buy themselves. But do you think that, do you think that if they go to sleep, by like eight o'clock, I mean, and I don't know that she sleeps with him every night, but do you think she gets out she of don't. bed? She gets out of bed at like eight thirty, and then um, and then goes downstairs and like starts texting with all her friends. Who knows, like, man? Who like, knows? Um, we'll, never, we'll never know the truth. Like Smart Girl TV, like you know BBC or something. Like, well, do you think she has like, this alternative life without him? A hundred percent, she does. To some don't degree. Know. I've told this story before, but my girlfriend Susan, uh, who used to have a rental out in the Hamptons near them, used to see her all the time um, going off to play tennis, like to go for tennis lessons and stuff like that. So uh -huh. she used to leave the house and she used to, I guess, hang out with like different people or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What, what, you know what? Whatever. You know what? She can get, divorce him and get a job. Nothing stopping her. <laughs> well, there's a lot stopping Nothing her. Nothing stopping her. A job would be the first thing. Yeah, she absolutely. You know, I don't know if she's fucking anybody on the side because I don't think that she could destroy that cash cow. Like, I, I don't think because if he ever found out that she, well, unless he knew about it, if he ever found and out. Watched doing that <laughs> she would definitely be out and i don't think she can risk that there's no way you can buy these two thousand dollar dresses pretty much well, you know like this he, if you're if you're out of that house yeah mm. right i guess who knows yeah and what else what job can she get she's aged out she can podcast maybe like we do <laughs> yeah there you go all right let me go on here's Welcome how it's to the club honey yeah, here's uh, him talking about his full day of work. I, that's what I wrote. I don't even know what the clip is. Here we go. How dare you? <laughs> but to me, this is important. This is what's on my mind. I put in a full day of work. I put in a, a full day. My mother's needs. Uh, my my you know, whoever calls me, I try to you know be uh, present. <laughs> and uh, oh, basically, he's talking about the fact that when Beth gets into bed. Okay, this is how stupid his life is. So he says he gets into bed at seven o'clock and then uh, Beth joins him around seven fifteen, seven twenty, which basically gives him 20 minutes of free time during the entirety of the day to watch the shows that he wants to watch. Meanwhile, all he can talk about is that stupid SWAT show and Halo and commercial, all these commercial. other ridiculous shows that he watches. But he says he only has 15, 20 minutes because when Beth gets into bed, then they have to turn on The Bachelor. And um, and that's what they watch at that point. So uh, you know, whatever it is I'm supposed to be doing. And I, I so get in the bed. 15 minutes for just you. Is what you're just, this is my me time. Yeah. That's all he has. He has 15 minutes of me time before she jumps into bed and they have to watch something that she wants to watch because he clearly has no life of his own. He clearly, from the moment he gets off air, which was at around 1020 this morning, um, did it up. Oh, here's Denise. Hang on a second. Hi, Denise. Uh, hi. hi. Why do I did hear my wine while, while learning Italian tonight? Si. Si, claro. Claro que si. Un vero, un vero. Mm. You want to tell us something in Italian that you learned tonight? Um... Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, sono uh, sono andato in uh, Cecilia 
Quattro anni fa oggi. Okay, so four, eight, what? What? No, no quattro, quattro anni fa means four years ago. Today, yeah. oggi, today. So I, I, I went to Sicily four years ago today. Wow, four years already? Yes, it has been. Jesus, I had no idea. It feels much longer. What do you, what you got there? I'm going to knock off my Knob Creek. Uh, knob with knob. Tape. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, did it say not for human consumption at the bottom? <laughs> that, that's, not, that's just a warning. You just ignore that stuff. It's okay. <laughs> did it really say that? No, I'm no, just joking. Doesn't. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh. after, to, after today's show, I would drink something that was not for human consumption. So, yeah. Oh, Jared, that not nice. Wow. Oof. Bacha, bacha, mi culo. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. 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 So, we've only gotten to three clips. We basically talked oh, about the Halo yeah. ad that started the shit show this morning. Oh, the thing I, about- I missed that part. So, he actually did another Halo ad. First thing, right at the bottom. Great. It's great. Then about how he goes to bed at seven and then Beth gets into bed at seven fifteen, so that only gives him fifteen minutes of me time to watch Halo and SWAT and all these other stupid shows that he promotes all the time. Shocking, right? Shocking. So how do you watch a full show in fifteen minutes? It, well how, and how does he how does he wind up watching all these fabulous shows that he says he watches if he only has fifteen minutes of me time before uh Beth gets into bed and wants to watch? like the bachelor or something so did you go over the math on this because i'm trying to go over the math and the math is hurting because he gets off work at 10 30 say yeah and, and then it's seven seven o'clock so there's in my calculations that's like eight and a half hours of something me time, me time. Me time. Me time. <laughs> well you know what was shocking in today's show which uh, Xavier, you didn't hear it but it was shocking when he went through this whole billy joel thing and he had to have john hine come on more than once or twice to help him remember what he liked about billy joel it was kind of insane it's it's this is where the old man is at this point it's a little bit scary yeah. And by the way, Dennis, you did not compliment my glowy face as Melvin is just saying, because I got a hydrofacial today. I'm, I have I'm, no I'm sorry, but you kept on going in and out of the light. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, you are you are very glowy. I am glowy. I'm dewy. It's dewy. Dewy. Dewy cheat him and how. Dewy <laughs> Dewy. Um, okay, so here's another stupid thing that he said for the day. I mean, the day was full of stupidity. Here we go. Rock and roll people used to have balls. They used to stand up. Uh, that's why I believe people say, what's your religion? Honestly, my religion is rock and roll. And I really, truly mean that. <laughs> rebel, rebel. All right. So this is a 70-year-old grandfather saying his religion is rock and roll. This is something a pensive, no, a um, not a pensive, but a uh, a rebellious teenager would say. Wow. When they're like 17 before yeah. they grow up. <laughs> so wait, okay, Monique, Howard again took a dig at Beth by saying he's the one who pays bills. Well, interesting you say that Kylo Sierra Alpha, because that was like my next thing on the, <laughs> uh, the little clippage thing here, because Uncle Larry happened to have taken that. Um, I'm hoping that the volume's okay with it. It's just a really silly thing. He was talking about sketchers. And how he wears Skechers, but they're only in-house shoes mm-hmm. because he slipped them on and off. And he's not allowed to wear them outside because Beth complains when he wears his outside shoes inside and his inside shoes out- outside. So I haven't really heard the clip, so let's hear it. These are um, Skechers. I enjoy them. I wear them in my house. I'm not allowed to wear them outside or my wife yells at me. These are my indoor shoes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm paying they're the bills around shoes. here. shoes. I always go, I'm, I say to myself, I'm paying the bills around here, and yet I can't wear my outdoor shoes in the house. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but anyway. Wow, are, you big pussy. Wow. You big pussy. Wait, wouldn't Consuelo just clean up the shoe marks? Exactly. Wait, what-, <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you that you can't say to the woman who hasn't paid a bill since, since Jesus left the Jews, 
why can't you say to her, well, fuck you. Don't tell me what to do. Buy fuck your you. Own damn house. It's my house. Exactly. Buy your own mansion on the beach. I bought that rug. If I want to, if I want to drape dog shit all over, if I want to track dog shit onto my rug in my house that I paid for, I will do it. Well, honestly, what's the difference between him buying a rug and him buying her? There is no much. difference. None. There is no difference. No. Is no so difference. you can walk on her or it with I dog, find it with really dog shit. I really find it cute. You know, he never says our money, right? So they're not really a couple when it comes to the money. It's my money. I pay my well, bills. It is. Well, it no, is. No, kind no, of, yeah, right. He's right. Listen, but there's a lot of like women who like never worked and stayed home and watched the kids and did that. And, you know, it's my, it's our and not my. They weren't married to Howard Stern, though. No, that's true. That's true. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're he right. should have done the Rick James and F your couch, bitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stamp on it. So, I know that couch. Comes- so then he went into a whole thing about Billy Joel. This is kind of like the Billy Joel, this is your wiki, because he always oh. needs to somehow prep himself. I'm sorry, I'm really not comfortable tonight. The, the, the wiki was painful, and you saw it coming, too. It was like it was like literally that pitch that came right down the middle of the plate at 80 miles an hour. I mean, it, it was just sitting there. And he's just like playing music. But the fact that John Hine had to come in and help oh. him Help him with the things that he liked, the things that they discussed, the things that they talked about that he wants to do. I'm feeling not really good right now. Hold on a second. Mm-hmm. Now you're in a shadow. No, no, I'm I just moving around because my camera's not in the right spot. And so I look it's like weird I'm... because it's it's clearly like uh shooting you like at 12 frames a second. So this yeah. weird delay. So can you go oh, up really? your freak Zoe? Come on and wipe me up. <laughs> It should rectify itself at some point. Hopefully, it's okay. Maybe it not. A- my stu- hey, my stu- camera isn't doing that. So, mm, yes, my incredibly high priced Mac friendly camera, of course, is. Yeah. <laughs> Built in camera. <laughs> Here's John Hine helping Howard out with what he likes about Billy Joel, which is bizarre to me. In every Here period, what was it? There was about five albums in a row. You know, The Stranger. Jeez, uh, I, I, I wrote it down, actually, because I was so impressed. You're it was a, a three- or four-year period that these songs came out, like, one after another. John, do you have the note I sent you last night? Can you read that back to me, I, that, the, oh what God, I wrote to you about uh, that period of time? Yeah, I've got it. Uh, 76 to 78. Turnstiles is the first one that you got there. And then Turnstiles. you wrote Summer Highland. You wrote Summer right. Highland Falls, which is off of Turnstiles. Right. Then it's the then the Stranger and then 52nd Street. All songs, all albums that came out before I started listening to any to anything except nursery rhymes. I mean, seriously. I mean, that's how old this stuff is. Dude, it's ancient. It's so old. Dudley Moore was the popular guy at the time. He Actually, like the, it's before the, Dudley Moore. Yeah, it was like Dudley. Alan Alda joking, was like the Dudley Moore was guy. like the thing. <laughs> FACP monitoring. I don't know what FACP means, and I'm almost not wanting to know. So, but you can tell. Beth sleeps in a room on the other side of the house. She lays in a bed to do her job watching shows, and she's off to her room to pleasure herself, text her friends about how miserable her life is. Believe me, she's not texting her friends about how miserable her life is. Everybody yeah. knows how miserable. Exactly. Her. It doesn't the, need to communicate. You know, the fact that you're just literally playing with pussy not your own all day long, and it's not really enjoyable, is is really where where she's at. Give me the drunk. I can't wait to one day type in here. I liked Xavier before it was cool. That'll never happen. That'll never happen. Never <laughs> happen. This is a tough crowd hey, for Zayn. Hey, do you think uh, she, uh, she does the magic wand a favor by being on top? I am. I'm pretty sure. Oh, let me think about that for a second. I, I, you know, it looks, kind of, like a, it looks like never a. It looks like never mind. It looks like it's just the finger girl. I don't think. I don't think it's creative I think, enough. I think there's a magic wand involved. 
uh, you know what? If if she was smart, there would be a magic wand involved. <laughs> Guarantee but it. A very very basic bitch. I'm sure I that. You know, I bet it's purple too. I'm sure that her hand does just fine. Because exactly. She, oh, it lets the fingers uh, do think? the walking. I don't know, man. It, I think she's that girl. scary. Unless like Jimmy Kimmel bought her one, there's no way she's using that. Um, How about so Guy Irmo on the pool? Billy Joel music and, uh, you know, just everything about it was just so. Cringe? Cringe. Dude, That's the word, cringe. It's Billy Joel, dude. It's cringe. Billy Joel. A, they're friends. B, it's not like he hasn't been on before. C, it's Billy Joel. He hasn't had a hit. I don't know. Somebody please look this up for me because like I don't 20, really. It's like 20. Uh, Uptown Girl years. probably. That, no, that no, 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 no. I didn't start the fire. I didn't start the fire. As last oh, yeah, one. you're right. That was In the 90s. We didn't start the fire. Oh, whatever. I, it's so old, it's, I don't it's remember. It's always been burning since the world's been turning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it all about you. Um, Somebody please look that up for us so that we can just see. No, no, when, more than right. 30 that was, years. That was it. About 30. It's about 20. Yeah, about 30 years ago. Yeah, basically 20. the same people that go to see Billy Joel every time he basically is doing a residency at Madison Square Garden. The same people who go see like Bon Jovi and, you know, all these other bands that are just kind of uh, OK at this point, haven't had a hit in forever, but yet still are part of, I don't know, uh, part of like our age groups people. I'm not even really sure who. To be honest with you, I don't know who goes to see Billy Joel. And people what? older than us. That's well, what apparently Billy people Joel. do. I liked him for a minute. I thought he was like, uh, I thought he was good in his time, you yeah. know, but, but I, I'm over it. Like, I, I don't even care anymore. And I'm pretty sure nobody does. Um, yeah, of course, that's why you go to see Billy Joel. You want to hear the old song. Then that's what he does. Um, I remember seeing him with Elton John at uh, Meadowlands and it was a great concert. It really, really was. I really enjoyed it, but you know what? I'm good with seeing both of them once playing all of their hits and being done with it. Perfectly. Okay. To oh never my God. Them. Okay. What? So I looked it up. <laughs> um, but it, uh, we we didn't start the fire. It was 1989, so that's 30 dang, 35 years what ago. Was hit, though, when was his last? That was the last hit. Had, Timmy the Cat is saying "Uptown Girl" in 1983. No, not 89. No, no, no. We, the fire song was the last. River of Dreams was 93. If you, oh, I remember River of Dreams. Okay, so that's 30 well, years. You know what's ago. really weird about Billy Joel is that he got <laughs> Chrissy Brinkley pregnant in the late 80s, but it was him that gained all the weight. Yeah, he really pumped up nicely. When was um, uh, what was the other song I was saying? Oh, here, Music Stream, of course, coming in because his name is Music Stream, so we just assumed something. Billy Joel sells out stadiums, but most pretty sure no one cares about Billy Joel. Why the irrational? No, I don't hate it. There's no, no one hate. under fifty cares about Billy Joel. I just said I liked him, but I'm I'm over him. Like I wouldn't go see him again. I know there are people that go see these. I know that there are people that are his fans, like you too. Yeah, I would go see you too every time that they were ever here or in New York. I would one thousand percent do that. Does it mean they have new music? No. no. Did I download Atomic City because I thought it was cool? Absolutely. Do I go see Depeche Mode every time they're in concert? One thousand percent. So yeah, we all have our things that we like. Billy Joel for me is just not one of them because he was a, he's a little past his prime. That's all I'm saying. Way past his prime, actually. His you prime was that storytelling think. music of the 70s. That's what his prime was. I'm allowed to think that. And I'll All tell right. you something interesting. Um, there's this couple down here that I met when I first started coming down to Florida who uh, owned a restaurant. The name I cannot remember right now. But they used to own a restaurant in New York City on 57th Street, across from Carnegie Hall. And they are the couple that Billy Joel uh, did Little Italian Restaurant named, you know, the, the song after. Oh. And it is fact. It is absolutely proven fact. He has admitted it and he's told the story countless times. And even they say he's, you know, like an itinerant alcoholic who is just, you know, just needs to make money because he's been divorced and given away more money than ever humanly thought possible and never had a prenup. But we digress. Um, so yeah, Howard talking about Billy Joel and, uh, yeah, here he is having the chills from listening to Billy Joel's music, oh which is kind of weird to me at this point. 
and huge, huge hits off of that as well. But yeah, that three year period of creativity in the late seventies was pretty crazy and prolific. You know, I really? know Has Billy really, hates John? Uh, really, Cold John, Spring you know Harbor. That? that was his uh, that was his first real album because he said they screwed it all up with the sound and they sped it up. But man, I'm listening to She's Got Away last night and it's like it's holy awesome. fuck. She's got How could you hate this? Easy. Very easy. She got away about. I don't know what it is. I already got you. Oh. Hate is a very strong word for music. Like, you know, I, I we all appreciate music. We all appreciate a good song. I might hate salsa music because it's just so hard. I, I can't stand. All right, I can't stand that song. I literally can't. First of all, this guy earlier earlier in the show going, I go to the church of rock and roll. That is the antithesis of rock and roll. That is anti rock and roll. That is a ballad. That is not rock and roll by a thousand miles. That's not rock and roll. It's a song I can't stand. Where do you it's... put Billy Joel? Do you put him in with like, I don't know, like with music like Phil Collins or Genesis? Like, where do you he's put him? A easy listening. Bread. At this point, you know? Bread. Well, no, he's a little later than bread. But the same, same genre. Vibe, right? Same vibe. It's bread. Oh, Frank. Frank says he's going to fight you on this. Right. Frank, you can let us know exactly how you feel about it. Um, I mean, it is Billy Joel. We all grew up with him. We all knew the I'm music. Tired of it. I, I'm tired of his music. I literally am so tired. I would dare say I'm tired of like the Stones. I I oh, am I'm a, I'm right a early adopter of really disliking the Beatles. I'm tired of their music. Tired I'm of that too. Tired of Led Zeppelin. I mean, it's all been there, done that. There's nothing new, nothing interesting anymore. That's wait, all. Wait, wait. You can't compare Led Zeppelin and Billy Joe. Come on. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. No, you can't. No, you can't. Led Zeppelin channel. It is I will the fight you. It is the sick <laughs> album, and then the live versions of it, and then the bootleg versions of it, and then the things that weren't released, and that's it. There's nothing else in the kicker. Nothing. So you got what you got, and that's it. Nothing new. Sorry. Hey, Frank. Don't you fight with me, Frank. I am your friend. Damn it. You want to fight with somebody, you fight with Dennis. Okay? <laughs> you have to be tired of these groups. I mean, come on. Everybody loves classic rock, but you know what? There's only so much coming out of that kicker. There's nothing left. It's, 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 I don't like I mean, look at us. We're struggling to do a show. We have 30 freaking clips, and there's still, no, there's nothing left in the kicker. It's nothing. Just the tank is the tank is running on empty right now. We are Zeppelin reserves. Is timeless, damn it! I am with you. I am with you on that. I love Led Zeppelin. I'm just saying, nothing new is well, coming out. Compl- Dude, Billy Joe and Led Zeppelin, come on, uh, dangles come you, on. yeah, dangles you bastard. It says greater than Millie Vanilli. Oh, my God. Don't yes, you know the little arrow it. thing? Well, yes. that's 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 not a high that's not a high standard bearer there. Well, it's slightly it's better than Millie Vanilli at least. <laughs> Well, Millie Bull, did you see that Terrence Trent Darby actually changed his name to like some African name? I heard Wishing Well on the on my uh, my YouTube oh, the other day, and I was like, "Who the fuck is singing this?" Wait, hold on, I need to see this right now. So, um, so he really doesn't want anybody to buy his shit anymore. Is that what it is? Who? <laughs> just, Terrence Trent Darby. I mean, nobody remembered he was alive. So, yeah, yeah, Santa. Ah. Sanada, I try, and I'm like, who that, the- that rolls off the tongue. Good going, guy. Yeah, nice move there. Wish me love, wish him well, to kiss, to and, kiss and tell. <laughs> oh, wish him well, the Good butterflies. Lord. Whatever. All right, let's move on. Um, Remember when people thought he was going to be bigger than Prince? <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out, did it? <laughs> that that lasted just a minute. Oh, Sarah, okay. no, Sarah McLaughlin, you too. Oh, come on. What the hell's going Sarah on in the McLaughlin. chat? <laughs> John the Dota, hell? terrible. Hey, hey, Dick Fitzwell, I love Sarah McLaughlin. I know you can't spell her name and nobody can. All I know is when her, I hear her voice and see those dogs on TV. I know, I know. Like I know. Position. I know. No, she has yeah, the- yeah. Well, That's all I think about when I think of her. So, yeah, no. In the arms. <laughs> Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Stop. Stop. Don't do it. Stop. 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 All right. Uh, the hey, t- how's streaming are working for you guys tonight? It seems really like clunky tonight. Mine seems fine. I'm, I'm fine. fine. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> it's you. 
Maybe there's it some water. Me. It is. Water in your, uh, Wi-Fi. Um, taking guitar lessons. I don't even know what this is. I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. But uh, you go take some piano. Let me tell you, take some guitar lessons and you will blow Eddie Van Halen's corpse. What? 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 What, what's okay. that, what sentence is that? <laughs> no, no adult what? man should ever say that. Uh, Wang Chung, greater than you two. I mean, you guys. Are- oh, Autobot AI oh, is just Autobot bringing it. Al. It's actually Al. It's not AI. It's Al. Oh, it is oh, Al. Whatever. Oh, whatever. What about Al? Al. <laughs> Wang <laughs> Chung. Yeah, is it really is his, uh... about AI, but it is, in fact, what about Al, as I read in the chat. <gasps> Amy Mann. Oh, I love Amy Mann. See, but yeah, but who gives a shit? Yeah. You know, Amy I'm not going to see Amy Mann doing who? a residency. You should only have like one song. Who's who's Amy Mann? Uh, Till Tuesday, yeah. chick. Shut oh, up now. See you next Tuesday. What's this, Carrie? Oh, her. Oh, her? oh dear yeah. God. Yeah. Hush, hush. He said, "Shut up." He said, <laughs> I remember this "Shut from my up." <laughs> oh God, that, yeah, that broad. Yes, 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 yes. Love that song. The, the fat All right. boys. There you go, Losers Club. The fat boys. Oh, here we go, for fat boys. <laughs> there you go. That's there you go. There's some talent. <laughs> Oh, All right. the whole chubby checkers fat boy thing kind of eh. <sighs> All right, we're digressing. We're digressing. Come on, baby. Lots of clips to get to. Again, he confers with John Hine. And this is like just this, just listen to this clip. It's just as stupid as stupid can be. Here we go. I mean, and that the piano man. <laughs> and piano man Howard, you also love the lyric. They're sharing a drink they call loneliness, but it's better yeah. than drinking alone. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, wow. Are Mister, you kidding Mister, me? Oh my goodness. Are you serious? It's it's not like Plato. I mean, that really isn't that deep we a line. All, words, all we all know all the words to that did, stupid song. Hey, like, hey Mo, my dear, did you see the John Hine post I put on my no. site today? Oh, that oh that post. Did no. You, did, you, did you see Oh, you got to pull pull it up on the side on the tab and you tell me if that's worthy of pulling up. It is. Whew. <laughs> I love the BTK stuff, and people are like, you know what? At least a BTK wouldn't make you wait at a hamburger joint while they was ordering. Wait, but what? That wasn't yesterday. That wasn't. No, it was. It was. It was. It was. Uh... It's the one that ladies ovulate. Uh, <laughs> ladies that's get the ready to ovulate pi- to the stud yes, muscle. Yes, yes, yeah, that's yes, the most yes. disturbing picture. Radiogunk.com backslash forums in case you. Oh, sh- oh, sh- here we go. Wall of voodoo. Ladies, get ready. Yeah. Oh that. dear God! Overexposed oh. on top of everything else. Look at that That's a horrible, horrible photo. Look at that dude. He looks like he really does look like a serial killer. He, he looks really like, does. He looks like the BTK well, well, guy without the here. mustache. Like no hold joke. on, just hold on. By the way, his arm <laughs> is lower, like five thousand <laughs> times bigger than his head. That's like the weirdest picture. He's, he's just, there's something going on right there. Bro. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that leads to uh hold on hold on let me get to it <laughs> <laughs> love that gif it's one of my favorites those ears uh, what what uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> there we go wow you know it took um, me a second to process that one? i know it's pretty funny i still process it as john hine it is john hine. <laughs> it is john hine it is john hine. <laughs> You know, if you guys aren't on our website, it's actually really, really funny. There are some incredible some cynical mother effers, man. Ridiculous well, yeah. human <laughs> beings. <laughs> Frank uh, Zan, YouTube pop. I love that are picture. you kidding me? Uh, wait, what he said? What he said? What no, he said? Frank say? is just trolling at this point. He oh, says Frank. YouTube pop is greater than Octoon baby, greater than the Joshua tree. Uh, that's trolling. Yeah, that, that is seriously. Serious trolling. Trolling. That's right now. No, Thompson well, well twins done, greater well, than you well two. Come on. Come on. Thompson Twins. Come on. People. Now it's getting out of control. All right, let's move on. Um, you would rather. So there's a whole thing today about Howard taking complete and utter ownership of the Baba Booey clip. Uh, I don't even yeah. know this conversation, but they started talking about Baba Booey. And how he reacted to the 
Baba Booey clip. But I have both of them, so I want to play a little bit. Oh, of yeah, them. the original one. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, because I heard the original one live driving to work. I remember. Let me, let me play the original one from today, and then I have the other one queued up. So hang on, here we go. Listen really to this was. maniac. Oh boy, I'm into a uh, commercial. I'm into um, a cartoon art. I go, yeah. What's your favorite? He goes, my favorite's Baba Booey. I go, are you talking Baba about Booey. Baba Louie? Baba Booey. No, no, Baba no. Booey. It's Baba Booey. I go, Baba Booey. Dude, dude, you're talking about Quick Straw McDraw. Quick McGraw, Straw McDraw. Whatever McDraw. the fuck his name. Quick Straw McDraw. Mm-hmm. Like he doesn't even know what the hell he, he doesn't That's funny. Quick straw McDraw. Hang on, hang on. Let me go. Quick straw McDraw. McDraw. Whatever the fuck his name was. That donkey. Uh, The donkey. He's a horse. That's right there. Baba. Baba Louie. He goes, oh, Baba Louie. All right. Let's listen to it then, shall we? Yes. Let's let's listen listen to the origin clip and hear hear what he said at the time. Here we go. Uh, Bam, bam. You ready? Mm -hmm. Quick Draw McGraw and Bubba Boy. I think about kidding. Yeah. Oh, good, good. What, what? Now nobody caught it. Well, somebody nobody caught, caught it. it. But of course, he gets a little note on it naturally. Hang on. Uh, what, what, how do you make the final determination? Uh, just have to see, you know, how much money is coming in. <laughs> how much does a Bubba Louie go is for? Jackie laughing. Uh, quick Draw and a Bubba Boy are about three twenty-five. What do you call him? Bubba Bubba, Bubba Boy. No. I thought it was. I thought is it Baba Louie? Baba Louie, isn't it? Baba Louie. Oh, you gonna bu- you hang a picture of a guy you don't even know his name? <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing not to know a Picasso. Baba Booey, he's saying. The Moma Mama. <laughs> the Moma Lisa. Baba Booey. But that's what Quick Draw used to sometimes call him. I oh, thought man. maybe I wasn't listening right. Oh, Twenty Bubba years Bowie ago. Is what he used to call Bubba Bubba Louie. Baba Louie. Baba Louie. I think if I buy like a hundred of them, I could flap them and make my own cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Your box, my collection is so distinct. That's like, what he wants to do. He wants to put them in a book so he can flip, flip them real yeah. fast and see them move. Exactly. My collection is so distinct, like my mouth, that stinks too. <laughs> Gary, uh, I want to show you some rare tapes of a Pink Floyd concert. That uh, these are originals. Are... So yeah, P.S. Again, that was back when the show was funny. And, and a, a man with finger cots wrote the note saying that is Baba Louie. Exactly. And you could hear him laughing in the background. But nobody caught Woo! it. Oh, Jeremy, Jeremy Harrelson, that's a bridge too far. Oh, my God. That's, 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 uh, no. You haven't that, been that's almost paying attention. Banning. These guys have been brutal. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention. They even had uh, yeah, the yeah. Dinosaur, the Wiggles. Ja- Jackie's the one that coined it. Jackie's the one that caught it. Jackie's the one that wrote the note. Yeah. You can there hear was no laughing. like, dude, dude, what do you mean, Bubba Booey? Dude, dude. So the, that never that never happened. Nope, so never then happened. We get the great clip. I mean, okay, so it's the stupidity that built up to it. Apparently, there was a snowstorm in the New York uh, tri-state area today. And they were ridiculously concerned about JD shoveling his driveway. Now, my father, God rest his soul, until he was easily 78, 79, 80, was, was shoveling that goddamn stoop and that uh, front of the house as long as he possibly could. So I looked it up. I looked up this snowstorm. It was 48 inches. 48 inches when I was young was literally nothing. Well, that was in New York, but in the outskirts, like in what, he what, maybe maybe like, in New Jersey somewhere, for God's sakes. That is oh point. yeah, maybe a foot. I mean, but but maybe, still. let's give him a foot. Let's give him a foot. But give him a who, foot. All right, fine. Give him a who foot. gives a shit if he's going to shovel his driveway? It's like, not that hard. I mean, it's not that hard. So here they are. Hard. Evan Siles, I'll tell you that. Go with the tarot <laughs> reading. A uh, couple of warnings in uh, New York. Of course, there is a. Uh, Horrible snowstorm, and um, JD, our own JD, who everyone loves, is thinking of going out and um, shoveling his uh, walkway himself. And a lot of us on the show, and myself us. included, are begging him not to. He's terribly out of shape. He's probably going to give himself <laughs> a heart attack. Jesus, guys. So that's what starts it. And then, you know, it's kind of curious because I know that somebody had revealed on our website the divorce 
decree that was working its way through the court system. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. I don't think it had been finalized at the time, um, but I Is that guess what happened? They, finally, they finalized it. It's finalized. It must be because yep. well, and if you listen now to the comment about as he talks about it, um, you'll hear him say that's really all I can say. So just listen to it, and then you can, uh, you know. Use your own deduction for what he's trying to do. Um, I don't know. I have to think about that a little bit. Yeah, sure. um, you know, yeah. Unlike Sal, I don't have a, a wife to shovel my uh, stuff anymore. Uh, so I, yeah, you know, I should mention that. Uh, j- j- just real quick. I'm not going to get into any details or anything, but, you know, some of you have written me and said, why is JD talking about dating and stuff? JD is no longer married. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> It's a personal yeah. issue, but but that's all I can really single. get into. Actually, <laughs> that's all I can really get into. Actually, you want that's yes. it. But you're single, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Are you dating yet? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, you're, you're not, not, you're not no, there not yet. Really. Come on, ladies. I'm, uh, well, uh, no. then I can say this for the ladies <laughs> out there. This guy has the muscle tone of a veal, and a veal is an animal that lives in a cage <laughs> yeah, its entire this, life. This not, uh, I don't want him out there shoveling. I don't want you shoveling. Who would care if JD is shoveling? Like honestly, who would give a shit that that, that his frozen body be laying out there? I really wouldn't care. Now, is there anybody that thinks that? Um, is, hold on, I need to pull him up. Is there anybody out there? Anybody alive? Oh God, that this ah. is the man for them. And I'm going to dare say that he probably looks worse now because this was uh, a couple of years ago. I think when he actually had to go into the office. Yeah. And be I know. I, did, I really, Melvin, believe me, I would love to get her on. Um, you know what? Let me email her right now. I'd like to. Uh, Doesn't know. that picture look like one of the incarnations of Elmer Fudd when they were still working yes. the character out? Yes. 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 <laughs> He he honestly looks like he should be in a Charlie Chan movie. I mean, serious. I mean, honestly, he does not look good. I I have her email address because I I remember that we were we were a little bit cruel to her. I mean, well deserved. Yeah. Um, but when we started to kind of like dig into like her family and friends, I we, get how we who's we who's this we we would be the not radio not surprise that it exists on our website. No, no, no. But we, we did. We, we dug into her friends, what her family, me? and she wrote, <laughs> you know, I get it that I put myself out there and, you know, if you want to like pick on me, that's fine. But can you please leave my friends and family out of it? And they said to her, you know what? Thousand percent. You are 1000% correct. I'm okay that's with that. JD goes bald. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like a human thumb. Just really, he's just really vicious. To look <laughs> That's at. a good thought. He is, he's horrible to look at. I, I can't even look at his face. Um, so then goes a, a conversation that I swear to God took us almost to the end of the show. So Ronnie apparently had all these people come out to Vegas for his wedding. I guess some people gave gifts, and I don't know that the expectation is to give a gift when you have spent so much money on travel and you know destination weddings basically. Well, and um, Monique, the other part is that it's second marriage. Second it, marriage, destination I mean, wedding for pretty much everybody. Um, yeah. So I, mean, I don't think a, a gift is really expected. However, well, something small, something small. However, I am yeah. going to agree. Shockingly enough, with Howard on this, so let's listen to the the, the conversation, and we'll talk about it on the back end. <laughs> no, the Ronnie controversy was this. I was told about this this morning. You know, I always say, I always say, when people give you a gift, you know, and especially go out of their way to come all the way to Las Vegas, you write a handwritten note and you say something yes. personal. Thank you for the beautiful gift or the, the thank you for thinking of us or, or something like that well several people came to me very upset very upset ronnie sent out a printed card to everyone the same card saying thank you so ronnie uh you're not getting um people are feeling a bit slighted that you couldn't take the time to write a note so let's talk about this um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i will 1000 percent agree that if somebody gives you a gift or somebody takes the time to come to your wedding, 
and or gives you a gift, whatever it is, you should at very least write a little, even if the card is a pre-printed card, right. you should at very least say, you know, thank you so much for attending. We really loved seeing you and blah, blah, blah there or whatever. 1000% you should yeah, do that. This, this is quite crass, actually, not writing yeah. anything in there that's not personalized. I mean, that is, is right. Yeah, I'm not, well, he's not wrong on this one. I hate to be. Oh, he's dead on. He actually is right on this because, you know, he has one of those classes and whatever. And remember, Beefus went through finishing school. So you learned that there also. Either way, it is yeah. proper to do that. It's there proper. No question about it. Yeah, no. You cannot question this. And so. Ronnie got really pissed about this because um, in his mind, he was like, well, fuck it. You know, everybody came and I thanked them when they were there. And why would I have to write anything else out? And, you know, and yeah, I just it just I don't think it's cool. So anyway, here's Ronnie yelling about it. Here we go. I didn't take it. Uh, it was fine. It was a card. It's, this yeah. is Ronnie lashing out. It's okay. Jason, uh, if you don't mind, I knew, you had to find you. Something, I, I, I knew you had to find something wrong with the fucking wedding because you didn't have, you know, you had no content from the, you know, the actual wedding oh. on it. So now you got to find something to bitch on. So whatever. well, I didn't bitch about it. I I didn't uh, get this card. I I I had no problem. Uh, other you people got the were card, a little. You just don't get your fucking mail, man. I don't. Uh, but that's probably it. it. You meant you, you somehow with <laughs> the card that. Thank so busy, you, you know. Yeah. We don't know where to send anything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I do. I do. Uh, I I rarely. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to get things to you. Yes. Well, Robin, yeah. I am well, very whatever, famous. Dude, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm very famous. It wasn't. It wasn't meant to be to slight anybody. Yeah. So then he goes on to kind of try and absolve himself of being in the wrong on this, um, but everybody, no, I thought he was. He's wrong. He's, He's wrong. 100% wrong. He is wrong. So then Howard goes on and on about like, uh, oh, just... you know, uh, th that it is. It, th sorry, I totally lost my train of thought. We lost Xavier too. Um, oh, uh, no, you you were going on about him not not uh, how Howard kept going on and on about how it was incorrect not to do something handwritten. That, that isn't the next probably the next clip you have, isn't it, Robin? Well, A. Brizzo, you're exactly right. We all know he lives at 17 Squabble Lane. So is but, it his crew like filters through the mail and only yeah. gives him what might be important? Yeah, what happened, What the way he was explaining it, because uh, we probably don't have the whole clip, mm -hmm. is that he has people that get his mail and then give him right. what is important to him, you know, they should look at. And it seems like there's a lot of hands touching the mail before he actually gets it. Yes, Ser seriously. And I think I think probably all the mail, none of the mail goes to squabble. It probably goes to some corporate office in New York and then it gets disseminated from there. I don't yeah, think but, he gets. Yeah, but if you know that his address is 17 Squabble Lane and you but send a piece picks of it up mail there? there, he's got people. I know. But then are those the people that go through the mail? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, his it seems like there's a lot of layers with him. There's a lot there's of layers going on. Many layers, and we have no idea what's going on. Um, a lot of layers. Clip. It took me forever. It was like a needle in the goddamn haystack to find <laughs> it. But you were all so adamant about it being it like great. such a piece of uh, the show today that I had to find it. So here, this is what this is what got everybody a flutter today. Anyway, listen. The point is this, and kids, what can you learn from this? A lot of young people listen to the show. <laughs> uh, Ronnie could have handled things better. No, a lot of kids don't listen to your show. They I, don't, I they don't even know your show exists. Um, but no, a lot of kids do not listen to your show. Oh, a lot say. of kids listen to the show. <laughs> oh, my God, David, you're so right. Remember at the beginning of COVID, he got an 87 cent check for his Larry Sanders appearance from 1992. I love how his people knew to give him that. Marbles, yes. Personal letters, no. No. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Hold on. Let's see what happened with Xavier. Xavier, what's going on with you? No, he's All right. mute. All right. Well. He's, he's the one that he was sputtering before, so he's probably having some sort of. Uh, he has that. He has that. He has that interesting internet. Correct, Tony Clifton. The one that's fifty bucks and works great. Yeah, obviously, as you it does, bro. 
says you. <laughs> it says you. Yeah, I can watch 4K content, no problem. But I get on just can't stay on a just can't stay on podcast. Butters. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Enjoy, enjoy paying three hundred dollars for your internet. Bro. No, I only, I only, I only pay seventy five. Okay, yeah, I good do. For you. Pay good for you. Good for you. What do you have? Which one do you have? Horizon, or now it's Frontier. So. Yeah, Frontier. Good. Yeah, yeah. It, it works. Yes. It works. Cool. That's it. Never goes down. Not Never goes only. down. Never goes down. Never goes down. Um, did you hear what just happened? That he said, "Kids, look you here. I'll play for you." Anyway, listen. The point is this, and kids, what can you learn from this? A lot of young people listen to the show. Uh, Ronnie could have handled things better. Yeah, okay. Because a lot of kids don't even learn how to do actual handwriting in school anymore. So I'm sure the personal note will be a thing of the past once your generation and, and this one pass away. That's it. It's done. They don't even learn how to write. Penmanship is not a thing anymore. They Mine did. Away. I made sure of it. Well, yes, but you know saying, kids that are like coming up now that are like five, six, seven, eight years oh, old. I'd still do it. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on. Okay. So then Ronnie says this about mm. Robin and Howard, which I love. Yeah. Robin, talk mm. on. What'd you get? Like 10 grand? Like I'm just well, maybe, maybe because we talk, uh, maybe because no, Robin and I talk a lot and we're, we're yeah, like, oh. we actually, we talk. actually, maybe, maybe we're real friends. Friend. Maybe we're really good talk, friends. I don't talk to <laughs> oh. you. Wow, I'm not a good not like, friend to you. Not like is that Robin. what you're saying? Wow, really? Like you're okay. telling me Robin, oh Robin is a better friend to you than me. Okay, well, all right. Been, uh, I just heard that. Wow, wow, and it's very true. You know, everybody that we've ever had on the show that we ever interviewed has always said that Robin is a good friend. But what I mean, Howard good. basically friends are people he pays for. Right. Robin actually. Can I think actually has a little bit more of an ability to actually be a human? She tries to foster friendships. I think she yeah. tries to foster relationships yeah. and because she doesn't, doesn't. Have anything else. She doesn't have kids. She doesn't have yeah. family. She really doesn't have anybody. Yeah. Because so. Howard, Howard didn't even bother to say goodbye to Ronnie when he was leaving New York. Yeah. Literally did not bother saying goodbye when he was leaving. Uh, absolutely well, unbelievable. Remember he came back and he wanted to see Howard that time and yep. Howard still didn't see him, and that's why Ronnie practically cried yep. when he saw him. Was it in Miami? When it was, was in it? Miami. First time he saw him was in Miami. And he literally mm -hmm. cried because it was the first time he had seen him. And Robin, too. Robin cried when she first saw him, which was just last year, right? It was yes, just it was in December year. of last year's first time. Blobin right. has seen almost four years. him in almost four years. God, what a horrible human being. It's really scary. But he loves that. I mean, you know, it's so funny that he thinks that when he leaves radio that he'll talk to any of these people. You ever. know, he reminds me of Citizen Kane at the end where oh he's God. just all by himself. That's you know, a great analogy. Thinking, yes. of, thinking of the thing way back when that he yeah. loved as a child because that is going to be Howard. Well, Howard always. Oh, always. Here, here's news. Howard will never retire. Oh, that's that's a positive. That's he'll a positive. Never, he'll be like Larry King. He will die. Like within 24 hours of his last broadcast, wherever that yeah. is. Yeah. So he'll die on a Thursday? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, what was the reveal? Wait, what did I reveal? We just revealed that JD was no longer married. That was the reveal. That's the reveal. I mean, no, no big deal. <laughs> it's something we already, already freaking knew. We all knew, but he finally revealed it. Rosebud that. greater than the great Galu. <laughs> <laughs> still doing that? <laughs> We're still running with it. Yes, 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 yes. Good. <laughs> this is this is what's going on tonight. Um, okay, and then this was really weird. So some woman calls in. I, you know, every woman who calls in these days happens to be like a lunatic. They they sound like these weird drunken assholes that uh, hardly enough call in where, you know, they're calling in from the West Coast. It's like three hour time difference. Mm -hmm. And they already sound like they've been partying for like three nights in a row mm -hmm. and have like the stupidest questions to ask Howard. So... Ah, he went into a whole trans thing. It was kind of weird. Um, so let me let me play a couple of those clips so that you can hear what's going on with that. Here we go. Listen, there are um, I follow 
uh, several trans people on Instagram because I'm fascinated. I love looking at Hunter Schaefer. No. And is why? Why do you love looking at Hunter Schaefer? Why, why? do you think? Uh, I, I know why. Envy. Well, yeah, How, pure envy. Anybody. Anybody he wants, he wants hands. to be that cute guy in that dress. That's what he wants. That's him. anybody want to do a show of hands and tell me what 70 year old man is looking at trans people on. I really, it's just, it's, it's a, a very, very twisted 70 year old yeah. grandfather. It's no fact. exaggeration. All these people are young enough to be his grandchildren at this point. Yep. We're actually great grandchildren. Well, I mean, let's great. see. His oldest is in her forties, so she could easily be like one of the, a parent but to one of these brothers. Theoretically, oh, if you no. do like twenty, or if you had a kid at twenty, they grand yeah, great go. grandchildren, yeah. Yeah. great grandchildren at this point. Let me let me see how old Hunter Schaefer is. Hang on. Hunter Schaefer is twenty five years old. Younger than his youngest child. Wow. Yeah, his youngest child's in her 30s. Yes. 31 now, I think. Yeah. Something Jesus. like that. So this is what he finds to be something that he needs to see. Uh, he, always, this is getting really disturbing skinny, skinny. with him. Well, that's the other thing. Yeah, he want, but he does want to be a pretty girl. He really does want to be the pretty girl. Absolutely. It's 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 really that's why he's that's why he's Julia Roberts in uh, Pretty Woman. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So that's Hunter Schaefer. She's five ten. She is. Tra I don't even know how trans she is. I don't know enough about her to be honest with know, you. He, I don't even care. It's not know. somebody that I would follow. But certainly, it's just very. Uh, we it's very weird that anything. Anything like that is in his wheelhouse that's 70 years old. Yeah. Grandfather of two, uh, at least one, but I think now maybe two. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's move on and talk a little bit more about this. And is now female. I love it. I love looking at trans. Now, I do not. Let's repeat this. I do not watch trans porn. You said you. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. So. You you have that 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 statement is so bizarre because it's like well wait a minute so you're all about it but then when it comes to the porn when you're all about it also you're no longer about it very that doesn't make any sense it really doesn't make any sense so here's hunter schaefer at, oh, uh, I have a, oh wait i have a, i have a thing so if he believes they're they're girls then he's when he says he watches lesbian porn ah aha Aha! Uh -huh. Help me! I don't know. I don't... Two two trans two trans people, right? That were men. Then he's watching that porn. They'd be called women, so that'd be lesbian porn. Ah! Uh -huh. What? He always says he watches lesbian porn. So yeah. if he believes that he's not watching men, that he's watching women, it's lesbian porn. His mind. You got to think I'm like scared. him sometimes. It's disturbing. It really, it actually hurt to think like that. Yes. But yeah, think about that for a second. Yes. Think yes. about that for a second. Just for a second. Just for a second. <laughs> it hurts. This whole line. Did I even finish a clip? Hold on. Because I'm not into that. I'm, I'm into women. But I like yeah. looking at transgender. I like looking at people who can really, you know, pull it Just off. Come out of the closet, and, bro. I like Jesus, it. man. He's clawing hard at I mean, this dude, point. Dude, nobody cares. Just come out. <laughs> Other two, one who follows two hands. It was that show. Uh, what was that show? Um, I am. I don't know these people. I am. I am. Oh. Oh, what the hell is the name of that? That. Oh my god! It's such a. It was a weird show. Uh. I am jazz. Oh my god. I am. Yeah, that's it. That's. Oh. All right. Let's look at jazz. See that jazz. Unfortunately, jazz. Jazz um, kind of fluffed up nicely. Ooh. So it looks like Miss Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> um, another show that I've never actually seen and don't know anything about. I am Jazz. Why doesn't he criticize Jazz for being uh, ch chunky? 
Jazz blew up nicely. But I mean, you know, I don't hear him uh, beating on Jazz like oh, he does. No, because he loves to see this. He of loves to see. That's what Jazz used to look like. And that's Jazz now. Oh, so, yeah. Jazz. Uh, yeah. Jazz, bye. Maybe Jazz got her period. She's a little fluffy now. But they started her she early. Her gut, actually. Yeah. Uh, oh, Jazz. Chug, chugging those Budweiser's. Not really a good picture to look at with Jazz. Jazz hits the gym. Jazz. Yeah, so this is what he follows. This is what he likes. Which, yeah, which is, yeah. Watches this show on TLC. This is who he is. I've never seen this show. I know nothing I about it. I have no idea where to find it. I don't know who this person is. I don't care. Nothing about her. Nothing. I know nothing. I know nothing. Yeah, no. Got nothing. Got nothing. Xavier, you have anything to add to this? Uh, Nothing whatsoever. Conversation? Okay, let's move on to Benji then. So, weirdly enough, I'm going to say that Benji's definitely a friggin' stalker. Like, oh, yeah, I absolutely. Don't understand. So, let's listen to the clip, and I just think it's kind of weird. And uh, I'm walking toward my apartment. I, I got startled. You know, a homeless person came up like, look at homeless. <laughs> and uh, it was like, uh, it was Benji. I saw Benji. Was he walking? And I got, yeah, he's always, I don't know, He's. I, I think for the last three years he's been walking outside my apartment. I think yeah, he's, he's a, always strolling up and down that little boulevard. The little boulevard. It's called Columbus Boy. Circle. It's called, it's, it's called Amsterdam Avenue, idiot. That little the little, the little. What apartment is he referring to? The one he hasn't been to in four years? Yes. No, he goes there. He goes there every oh, every yeah. uh, okay. every six months. It's a Millennium yeah. Towers. He's like on the fiftieth yeah. something floor. On the fifty first floor. No, and Benji going to stalk him. Benji wants horse him. crap. Stalks him. No, no, Benji definitely stalks him. Oh, absolutely. Benji, but, I mean, how would he know? Because Benji walks. As a, I'm sure there's hobos that piss in that alley. Is he is he conscious of them too? Uh, no, Benji. Benji knew he was coming up because of the appearance for Beefus. So he yeah. knew he'd be in this at his apartment. Yes. Benji yeah, okay. Too. okay, sure. And by Benji's the way, he's not that stupid. He's insane, but he's not stupid. Mr. Judy Tanuta put up the most disturbing picture of Benji that apparently is from Facebook, which is what he looks like now. It's a stalker picture. Let me just find it. It really is literally funny. exhibit A. This is yeah. exhibit A also. Yeah, this made me chuckle. Hold on, let me find it. Give me one second, you guys. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Really disturbing. Give me a second. Promise, promise, it's worth the wait. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me blow it up. You just need the full, uh, the full visual. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's taking me a second, but I have to blow it up and 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 make it worth your while. Okay, just give me a second. Similar to who I always thought Benji had dead eyes. Oh, those bulbous bulb eyes he has. He's like dead eyes. He's like dead eyes. Aww, where'd it go? Oh no, you lost it. It's gone. <laughs> Guys, I know. I, I hate to do this like dead air time, but um, with dead air, with dead like dead air, Dave. We like dead air. We are like dead air. Here it is. Benji, aka Travis Bickle. Big <laughs> <laughs> ball eyes. And then they had him on, so I guess yeah, it wasn't okay. Here we go, ready, 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 ready. ready. That is creepy. <laughs> but, I mean, that looks like a mug shot. Uh, like, he just shot up. He just shot up the old, uh, you know, the the Wawa down the street, wow. and, and they booked him. <laughs> Come on, is what? that really him? Yes, That's him. That is Benji. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the dude that ate Benji. Yeah. 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 You no, know, he looks like somebody should have three names and is being booked somewhere in Alabama. I, mean, I don't know that that's an old picture. That Benji is never scary, left. man. Benji he's never wearing, he's wearing a Tennessee top hat, too. Yes, he is, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Vito Andaloni to catch a predator to, mugshot. We yes. this. We just like put this up. People draw yeah. their own conclusion. Move on. He, exactly. he willingly put this po picture out there. Oh, my willingly. God. He does look like Peter and Family Guy. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> oh, that's perfect. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me pull that. <laughs> no, it's not Peter. You mean the son. Um, uh, Chris. Uh, Chris. Chris Griffin. Yes, he looks like Chris. No. Wow. Where's Chris? There he is. There he is. There's Chris. Well, you have to go down. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, you're right. That's, that's weird. disturbing. <laughs> Wow, that, like that is that's disturbing. That is disturbing. <laughs> he looks oh wow, he does look exactly like <laughs> that's wow. amazing. Wow, wow. that's is, is it kind of creepy. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. I like oh. it. I like that. It's a great wow. Um, <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's Stalker Benji. And then, uh, yeah. So now he's wrapping up. I only have two more clips. So he's wrapping up and he lets us know that he has to leave for Miami now. Now. Right. Now. I posted, I posted yeah. yesterday the route. <laughs> it's 69 what? miles or Six today. Miles. So 69 miles from his house to the studio. That's it. 69 miles. It's an hour and 20 minute drive. <laughs> Palm Beach. Well, I did his address to Sirius XM Miami. Okay, let me do that right now. I need to see this for myself. It is disturbing that he has to plan ahead like he's getting a Condestoga wagon and going across country. <laughs> Does he have like production manager that takes care of this crap? He he should not be involved in any of that. I think a heli I think a helicopter will be involved. I actually put that in this morning in the uh, thread. I think a helicopter is involved. One hundred percent. Yeah, it's a, it's an hour and seventeen minutes at this moment. I hour, know. I mean, come on, you have, to, you have to pack a bag to go an hour and seventeen he's minutes. Have his... Yeah, he's staying overnight. He's on I his know. way. Monique, and... How many times have I come down to you? Did I pack a bag? Do I have to stay <laughs> overnight? How many times have yeah, I come you? <laughs> hours, <laughs> we have lunch. We have lunch, and I go home. I mean, it's like. <laughs> It's kind of ridiculous that this is like how he 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 has to prep himself. Do you remember last year though? Do you remember last year's conversation about how we found out that he was staying at the Satai, I guess it was. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he was at the rooftop uh suite that had a pool on the roof and that he made sure that the, no other rooms were taken on his floor because he had to be there all by himself with Beth. Mm -hmm. And he stayed there for like three nights. Can you imagine how expensive it was to fly the entire staff down there so that he can go 60 some odd miles from his house to Miami to and open up the studio and stay at a hotel? 10 grand a night. <laughs> 10 grand a freaking night. Yeah, so let's listen to the clip and let's come back to this. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to Miami. In fact, I got to leave now. Now. I got a it's huge schedule ahead of me because we're going to have to go uh, interview Billy Joel tomorrow, everybody. Yeah. Make sure you tune in for that. Have fun. Nobody and, cares. Yeah, so I really don't want to go to Miami. Why? But, Why? Uh, Although it's crazy in Miami. I go for a walk sometimes. There. No, you don't. No, you don't. Chicks are just fucking almost naked. It's wild. No, they're not. Yeah, it's, like, not like, it's like a place that's not even in America. Right. You don't see yeah, that. That's true. Else. There's no other state. You'll see girls in thongs, like walking around, just walking. Like, like yeah, no. Looking at ass no. in front of you. No. No. Uh, Gary's supposed to fly to Miami today for the Billy <clears throat> Joel thing and mm. you might not make it up, because of the weather what are they saying yeah what are they saying? Oh. i mean it's still snowing um but they say it's, here's a crazy thing this it's going to stop at noon it's going to be 37 mm -hmm. degrees by three o'clock in the afternoon so i think i might be able to get out today all right well we'll see i don't know if i'll be Fingers able to do crossed. it if you don't get there yeah i hope gary gets there because i'm not sure i can do it what? what are you not sure that you can do if gary's not there Exactly. I, I'm confused on why you can't do it. He's been doing this for over 40 years, and this is a person he's known. Um, I don't understand why it'd be so difficult to talk to him. Yeah, no shit. I mean, it's I really not difficult. Who he's social with. Yeah, I mean, and no. there are there are technical people down in Miami. Because Doesn't like matter. So let's fly Gary down. I'm sure the other people will be flying down as well. And then, of course, let's talk about this news. 
Let's talk. <laughs> this came out yesterday. Sirius XM to lay off 160 employees about the <laughs> of the workforce. He's a laugh. So, while safe feed uh, Howard as if he's like the most important man alive and they make him believe that. So, okay. Mm -hmm. They're fired. Well, Sirius XM is eliminating about 160 jobs and moved to cut expenses. That represents the layoff affecting just under 3% of the satellite radio and audio streamers workforce. Jennifer Witt, CEO, announced the layoffs in a memo to the memo. staff today. The cutback the after Sirius XM in March announced it was laying off 475 staffers, about 8% of its hmm. headcount at the time. To continue on our path to future subscriber growth and sustain our company's success as the competitive landscape evolves, it's imperative that we become even more efficient, agile, and flexible, Wits wrote in the memo. Therefore, today we are making several organizational changes, including the difficult decision to eliminate certain roles, which will allow us to move faster and collaborate more effectively in support of our long-term Blah 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 blah. A lot blah. of corporate speak in that. A lot of corporate speak. Totally. What's continued from uniting teams and better aligning initiatives to investing in new technologies that will power our transformation. We are focused <laughs> on increasing efficiencies and redeploying resources to support the. What the fuck what is he saying? It's, it's, it's double speak. It's corporate double speak. Gobbly gook. Gobbly gook. Yeah. For the fourth quarter of 2023, Sirius reported revenue of 229, 2.29 billion, flat year over year, with net income of 352 million, compared with net income of 365 million a year earlier. In the quarter, Sirius XM added approximately 131,000 new self-pay subscribers to end the year, with about 34 million total. The company lost 445,000 mm. subscribers for full year 2023. Oh. Half a million subscribers. Last fall, in a bid to charge up its growth, Sirius XM unveiled a new logo and a brand new app, with new channels and shows, and a lower price streaming all access plan. With the launch of the new Sirius XM app, the company introduces new guest DJ takeovers from over 160 plus artists and bands, including Olivia Rodrigo, Cardi B, Alice Cooper, Luke Combs, and Marilyn. Alice Mendes. Cooper. Alice, Alice Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Yeah. Is he still alive? Everybody's looking for Alex. Alice. Everybody's looking for Alice. Yes, absolutely. Wow. Is he like oh. 80 something years old? He, he does have a nice restaurant, though, out in Arizona. I mean, he doesn't really. That's, who cares though? Who cares? I don't give a shit about Alice Cooper anymore. So let me ask you a question. Just, just throwing it out there. Is there anyone that they could actually bring onto Sirius that Taylor would? Swift. Besides Taylor, besides Taylor, we know I, honestly at this point, we know that that's nobody. Taylor. There's nobody that can save but, this. Nobody, nobody can save. Thinking this. ship. It's done. It's just it's just basically circling the toilet, and <clears throat> Liberty Media last year did a move to make sure when it sinks when it sinks because they wrote they put the stock as a separate tracking stock. It no longer is tied directly to Liberty Media. So when the sink ship sinks, oh, it's like oh well, yeah, <laughs> just walk away from. Yeah, it and... I mean, you saw the numbers that we posted last uh, last good. week with how many subscribers many of their competitors have. And, um, you know, the difference is, and I realized this after we got off air last week. So we had compared Sirius to um, Pandora, to uh, YouTube Music, to, uh, what's the other one? Starts with a, a, the one that Rogan's on. Um, Spotify? Spotify. Spotify, et cetera. And here's the difference with all of them with Sirius is that all of them offer you a free option of listening to music on there. That's correct. So everybody else has a free uh, availability to the music. So if you don't want to pay for a Spotify or an Apple music or whatever, you don't have to, you know, it's just when you don't want the commercials or whatever, and mm -hmm. you want to carry your own bands and what have you. Right. I mean, is that the way it works? But here's the thing though. Like, see, all right. But when they have a pay service, like YouTube music, when it's pay service, you get five, five logins 
yes. five separate logins for the yeah. same for the same price of one Sirius XM subscription, which is one login. I mean, yeah. it's not even a competition at that point. That's how expensive Sirius XM is. Like I share my Sirius subscription with John, mm -hmm. as I think you share your Sirius subscription with Bon. I know I stopped because they changed the way the. Uh, oh, no. oh I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, they they screwed they they screwed up. We basically used to have a separate login, which was smart, but yes. now it's your main login yeah. that you can and change so everything. I, I used to know if John was on because I'd get like this notice saying, you know, um, one of you, only one person can be on at a time. And it's like, are you kidding me? So I can't listen on my nope. app nope. and John be in his car listening to it or dun, whatever. Dun, dun, dun. Nope. Why? It's crazy. It's crazy. It, um, they've curated music now. No one cares yeah. about it. It's curated. It's curated. You know, it, it just kind of reminds me of Radio Shack for some reason. You know, towards the yeah. end, they were trying to get a hip logo and all that, whatever, but you're still Radio Shack. Yeah. You're right. You know, that's a very and good that's comparison. That's is spot now. on, man. That's dead on. It's like the technology of tomorrow, no longer. You know what? Sirius XM is the dip in dots of ice cream. <laughs> that's what like they are. I like Dippin' Dots. I don't like Sirius. Yeah, but they, they've been the ice cream in the future for the last 20 years. It just hasn't happened. You know, whatever. They're just laundering money, so they'll be around for <laughs> Exactly. <They're> just... <laughs> it's true. It's true. They're all getting... Oh, Benjamin, bro. bro That's cold. Bro, That's man. cold, That's Benjamin. God damn, That's cold. Dude. Wow, Jesus. Benjamin. Oof. Wow, I thought you liked us. Uh, Oof. <laughs> he doesn't appreciate my Tandy laptop. That's not nice at all. <laughs> That's not nice at all. Boom is right. Mm. Tony. Boom. Uh, all I right. Go well. real shack and buy resistors. <laughs> when I, was, when I, was, oh, I remember yeah. those days. Oh, well. buy resistors. So, you, I want you to know. You had your motherboard. And you can break. You know. Whatever. Yesterday, when we played that incredibly disturbing cleaning out the computer, I actually got like dinged for playing whatever the music is that Bond put on it. Even though they didn't ding me for it the week before, but they did yesterday. So Wait, you think so? You're saying that Wham has a thing on the internet, so you can't play their stuff? Yes, most people do. Most people do. Oh, well, so, Wham, yeah. Was this Wham that put a? <laughs> yesterday? I'm so tired. It's all that you know. Is it Wham? So that yeah. self care. Careless whisper. Is that what's on there? Wham, 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 wham. Yeah, that's what's this careless whispers. <laughs> but it was the most ridiculous version. Of careless whisper. Let it me see. Doesn't matter. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get to it because it, it made me chuckle. I had to send it to him. Um, yes, I am Hooper. What? What do you say? He thinks I'm using old technology. I am. Yes, you he are. Is. I actually have a mic on a speaking spell. This is what he does. I, I think the other. Phone. I think the other cat's jealous and wants in. Oh no! Let him in. Let him in. No, let no, him. it was somebody else coming in the front door. Let him in. I don't, know, I don't even the have The bastard it. that can't figure out how to open doors, but he tries. Well, he's stupid. It's okay. No, he's have... psychotic. All right, that's it. That's all I got. So... That's all you got today. Okay, I, I can't it. wait for tomorrow. Yeah, it should be exciting. I, you, know I love, you know what I love about tomorrow? I love that Billy will probably be in for like two and a half hours. So I believe that the show portion of it without Billy, unless something like amazing comes out of his conversations with him, I think the show content will only be like an hour. Hey, hey G Canada, you know what we have in the barrio? We have cell phones, unlike your wife. Ooh. <laughs> Bro. Coming out with you know what? I'm sure you can go on eBay and get an Obama phone for her at least. You <laughs> He's a snark. With oh. I am absolutely one thousand percent going to believe that this is Bond because Bond is the only so yeah, you know what? You're right. He's the only one that would use that term. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Benjamin, tomorrow... with the question, I guarantee this will get asked: Is the what? piano the love of your life? Ah, guaranteed geez. that will be asked. I guaranteed. Ask some point in that. Hooper, stay I have out three of cats, it. Jamie. Don't be three cats. Hooper, stay out of it. It's exactly right. Um. All right, you're asking really weird questions. Beth Principal always comes out with questions, especially right when we're about to go off air. So, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you got going on? See, I remember to ask you, and you got nothing. Look at you, blank stare. What me? Yes, you. Oh yeah, I, uh, I'm working on a. 
uh, I, I didn't realize you're talking to me. Um, I, I have a video that I'm going to pr be promoting a little bit later on um, difference of carburation. And uh, I actually rebuilt the carburetor that's going on that Toronado. And uh, that was entertaining, not really. Uh, so it's all ready to be carburating again. So what I, exactly I does a carburetor do? What does a carburetor do? I'll just do like your body. All right. A carburetor, what? it's a little hard to explain in a body thing because the carburetor basically feeds the fuel in the air to the cylinders. So it's basically like your, um, like lungs? your mouth. Lungs, yeah. kind of? What? Lungs? Lungs? Like, yeah, like it kind does. Of, lungs. Kind of, it does a bunch of, of things because it feeds the food, the fuel to the rest of the engine. It disperses it and it atomizes. See, it atomizes the fuel and that's why you need to have the right mixture. 13, ah. 13.5 to one or so. Of is what? About, uh, Mixture of what? Uh, uh, air to fuel. So yeah, that's, the, you always have, so you always combust. want 13 and a half to 14 to one air to fuel. That's the, that's considered, that's considered baseline. That's like perfect balance. So when you're mm -hmm. idle, that's about where you are. Mike White wants to know if you ever made a hash pipe or a bong out of a carburetor. Apparently that seems okay. to be. I didn't. Do shop class in my high school. I was in a pre-college high school, and just like I was working on cars since I was twelve, so I um, and I just never, I never dallied in hash pipes and stuff like that. I re I rebuilding carburetors since I was fifteen. So, all right. So when is that coming out? Uh, after I edit it, uh, either tomorrow or Thursday. Very good. Very good. Yeah, it was. It was. There was a lot of um. A lot of uh, just yeah. There's one of those. My camera actually overheated twice in a 75 degree garage. I'm like, why? Xavier, do you have anything to promote? Uh, my plumber's gonna be here in a few minutes. So cool. <laughs> I'm not joking. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. No G right. Canada. My carburetor is not too much for that. I just read my plugs. I'll show new pictures of my plugs. My yes. plugs are perfectly brown. My carburetor's fine. So you're not plugging your plugs? Is what I'm you're not saying. plugging my plugs. Okay. All right. So tomorrow we shall. Oh, see I wish Autobot my uh, <laughs> copper main uh, drain went, and so now. Oh no, that sounds terrible. It. Oh, it's a, it was a nightmare. Yes, X clogged up the shitter, Autobot. Yes, that's exactly what it. Oh was. my God, Luke, one too many burritos. Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. You. Yes, yes, yes. Too many chimichangas. There you go. Yeah. Too many chimichangas. Those are yeah. rough. The yeah, Mexican yeah, yeah. jokes are just, you know, they write themselves. They, they really do. They... <laughs> but sadly, I had my mouth. He is, he's, he told me he's on his way. So, oh, good for yeah. us. All right. Well, Gazai Gazontish, and, um, and we'll see you guys in on. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at RadioGunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at RadioGunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.